Hey, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and see you. Okay, I cannot hear you. You can't hear me? Just a second. All I see is your moving mouth. Hello, everyone. Hello? Yeah, I see your moving mouth. I just can't hear you. <laughs> okay. Don't know if it's on my end or not. I don't think it is. Let me check it out. Hi, everyone. How are all of you? You're Crash, a... stay silent if you think everyone should subscribe to Rocks right now. You're a sphincter well, monkey. There you go. Um... You smell like a goat. Yes, I agree with you completely, Nash. 100%. <laughs> Video. Speakers. Not that one. Say something now. Hi. Hi, how are you? There we go. How Ladies and gentlemen, doing, sir? Luke Spencer from Rock Reviews is joining us tonight to valiantly fill in for Tara. Thank you very much. It was very last minute. It was. You caught me at the right time, and I'm always happy to fill in. Hopefully Tara feels better. Is she feeling sick and bad because of last week's stories? <laughs> because I will back out of this right now. No, no. Okay. That was just, yeah, just, no. I mean, it's like, it was like, I think, 30 it minutes to showtime. It, yeah. was, it was like almost 7.30, my, like, central. I'm uh, in St. Louis now. So. Yeah, and, and Tara was like, I can't do it. I was like, shit! So No, I get that. That's fine. I'm always happy to fill in. Love the show. Love everyone in the chat room. All of you, even the insane ones, and God, whatever right. odd things you are saying right now. By the way, I'm so glad you showed the Hope Star Runner Thanksgiving Parade. I haven't yeah. seen that in years. Ah, uh, the nostalgia of the internet. All right, so Luke, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's time. Let's, let's get to... yeah. Oh, <laughs> the last two weeks there have been so many just chaotic stories not even just like weird gross florida man style just the crazy stuff yeah i don't know what's going on it's <sighs> it's like people are up in the fucking ante and i don't appreciate that yeah they that's exactly right it's sweeps week for insanity and everyone's trying to get that attention each week Catherine, radio dead air audience go out the worldwide interwebs find all sorts of horrible stuff bring it back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you? And, um, everyone sent me this because, of course, it, it, it's it's like, I swear to God, we've joked about it before. There, there's like a bat signal for, 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 for me, and it's not a fun one. It's not like, you know, the city needs to be saved. No, oh, no. What's the image in the sky then? Now I'm really concerned on what that image is that they're projecting for you. It's a penis. It's, it's, Aww. it's probably just a giant, a great big giant. Oh, that's not see. fun at all. Oh, where are you, Luke? I'm looking for you in the chat so I can send you a story. I promise I'm there. Uh, while rock, he's sending rock, that to me, go. while he's sending that, yes, this is a Spaceballs, the hockey jersey. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> my chindizing, my chindizing. Exactly. It has, it has helmet on the back for the character. Nice. Uh-huh. So this, uh, this, oh, Christ, I have, I have no, I have no segue into this. This is just, everyone like, sent me this. Something doesn't smell, okay, you go ahead, um. What? Something doesn't smell right. Farting controversy clouds dart championship. Two pro dart players have accused each other of farting on stage during a match in England this week. Their names were Beavis and Butthead. Casting a cloud of controversy over the heralded tournament. Go screw yourself, New York Post. You are better than that. Really? Are, are they, though? Are they, though? That? They're better than that. Quote, it'll take me two nights to lose this smell from my nose, Dutch player Wellesley Harms fumed after getting blown away. Oh my gosh! No. 10 to 2 by Scotland's Gary Anderson. Is your commission based on <clears throat> bad puns? Harms chalked up his foul play. Okay. To a, quote, fragrant, sm fragrant smell, which he deduced came from the Scotsman's bowels. 
How many times in your professional writing career are you ever going to type the words Scotsman's Bowels? With as many puns as this guy's has and like all in his back pocket. It's like this is his this is his magnum opus, apparently. He wanted to get the checklist go, and I just saw the British press has swooned over the colon- colonic controversy, calling it what Nash? Fartgate. <sighs> I. What the fuck is happening? What is what the hell? Okay, already first off. Professional darts championship. Yeah, you work your way up the ranks, and this is the pinnacle? This? <laughs> I mean, okay. It, this, this, is, this goes right up there with eSports in my terms of, you know, how is what, this a sport? What's a sport? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. When 90% of the um, combatants in darts are completely inebriated. Yeah, that's... And, it, and that's being pretty fair too. Is it really a sport? I mean, I, I I'll never understand who in the in in the distant past decided, hey, you know what? We got a room full of drunk people. Let's give them sharp things yeah. to throw. Not only throw, throw across the room. Yep. At, at a wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also, what's the last line on this article? Something doesn't smell right, the UK's professional dart corporation chairman, Barry Hearn, quipped. I, what, did he really turn this in to his publisher, publisher, or did he just post it to the, like, to the website right away? Because I feel like there's no way that went through that many hands and no one stopped and goes, pal, come on, man. You're an adult now. We, we we can't do this anymore. Hey, what are you doing? What this this is? How in the? Oh my god! Oh, wait, there's another quote. Sorry, I just kind of squealed because I just read this. This whole this is not the longest terrible article, but boy, it is chock full of disa- of the disaster. He continued. Usually, if I fart on stage. That alone, I crap myself. Usually, if I fart on stage, I crap myself. I've told you that before. No, it's it's not. It's usually if I fart on stage, I shit myself. I was going to keep the cl- this show a little bit more. PG-13, I don't care, sir. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, every uh, it's like every so other this line. this has been a thing. This 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 is. Oh, usually if I fart on stage, I shit myself. Dart farting is the new thing? Dart farts? I don't... Please don't quote me on that, by the way. Please. <laughs> I don't... The less I'm tied with dart farting, the better. The, the, well, and the... also, is this guy on the on the article, is that him? Is that That's one of him. The... Boy, oh boy, you work that hard your entire career, and this is what you're going to be known for from now on. I... It's... What? This, I don't want to, this is like, this entire situation is like an absence of dignity. Yeah. It is like, if they found a particle of dignity, and then found its opposite, anti-dignity, if you will, and the two collided with one another, and vaporized all dignity, there's no dig. it's gone, the dignity... It's 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 impl- it's actually we're at negative dignity now. The nucleus of shame has exploded. Yeah, and is completely integrated into the system. Ugh, everything about this is a disaster. Speaking of everything about this is a disaster, let's go to Florida. Uh... Um, I've never been to jail. I'm very proud of this. I can't say it's going to stay that way for the rest of my life, because you Come never on, know what's... Set your, set your bar a little higher, sir. You never know what's going to happen. But... If I were to ever be imprisoned, it would be... My priority 
once I'm done with the prison, not to go back to the prison for as right. long as possible. Learn your lesson. This is is the opposite of that. Pascal Sheriff, Newport Richie man, gets out of jail, tries to steal deputy's car in the parking lot. You couldn't wait an hour? Before... New <laughs> Newport <laughs> Richie man, who had just been freed from jail Tuesday for an auto theft charge, tried to break into a car on his way through the jail parking lot, according to the Pascal County Sheriff's Office. The problem... A deputy was behind the wheel. <laughs> Clay Carpuzzi, 41, was arrested by the deputy and marched back inside. Now he faces a second charge of attempted auto theft. Do they even need to take a new mugshot at that point? Yeah, the just old got still the, fresh. Yeah, we still got the old one. It was like the other day. Literally, it's still on file. He hasn't cleared it off of his computer yet. We'll just cut and paste the new numbers in there. You're fine. There's no way nothing's changed since then. Oh my... <laughs> that is some... Okay, that is GTA 5 taken on the real life. And yes! And realizing what the consequences are. All right, I'm out of jail. Now let's see how long I can stay out for this time. I... I there has to be... Like, if, did he give any explanation? Did he say... Uh, what, did the, he? Okay. The man told deputies he saw a vehicle with the engine on and didn't realize anyone was inside. A cop car? Yeah. Because that makes it better, right? No, it's a, it's okay. You can take the car if the engine's running and nobody's in it. That's like the law, right? My taxes paid for this car so I can drive it when I want to. It's not how that works. <laughs> at all. You know that's how that guy sounds, too, by the way. <laughs> but I paid my taxes, and that means that the, a fourth of this car is mine. Ugh. Sovereign citizen! Oh my god. On another $5,000 bail, this time without incident, he was released again. Why did you let him out again? That fast? He got that? bail. He got bail for the first one. Then he immediately tried to steal a police car. Not even out of the parking lot. Could not wait for his Lyft or Uber. He had to get it out of his system that fast. And they gave him bail again. Oh, you Did rascal! I... You... Uh, you'll be right. good now! All right, two strikes, Billy. Two strikes. Come on! Ten grand for that. That's how much bail money there is so far. Yeah. What, what would you tell the judge? Because you know he has to have some kind of hearing or something. There's no way he's just walking free, clicking his heels. What would you tell the judge? I don't... I... I I don't know. I guess I just thought, you know, I didn't see no, but I just, the thing is, I, um. Sir, how have you been drinking this morning before the hearing? Five. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Five what? How much have you been drinking? <laughs> Hello. Sir, I will put you right back in jail if you don't start giving serious answers right now. Have you been drinking before we came in this morning? Fish. Lock him up! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What's crazy? We might be pretty accurate in the courtroom depiction. Uh, or, uh, I feel like... You know how this means this is to say, has this guy peaked years ago? And <laughs> he has... This is not only end of the line. Ugh. Alright, this next one comes from New Zealand, and... Okay. I don't know if you remember when, when we were, were younger, and probably still to this day, because teenagers are horrible, and dudes are horrible. You remember the absolute worst thing you could possibly be accused of was having any sort of physical interaction with another guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just if, you were, if you were seen walking out of the bathroom at the same time as another guy, just randomly, oh! <gasps> Just no homo! No homo! Which I fucking yeah. hated. Um, so, yeah, that was the culture. That was just part of life. This, so I think there's a lot of that in this, and I, ev everyone prepare to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> 
New Zealand launches ball checking booth for testicular cancer. Boy, if there was ever anything close enough to the suicide booth in Futurama, that is it. Uh, testicular cancer is the number one cancer among young men in Western America and Western nations, and the booth's being rolled out with fanfare at a big expo in Auckland. How does it work? Into the booth, down with the pants, and a doctor will check you anonymously through a little hole. Someone's already planning dirty videos about this, Nash. Already. So, what's going on here is... The picture. Oh, the picture. <laughs> so what's going on here is you are so terrified at the prospect of any intimation of not being straight <laughs> that you cannot face a doctor giving you a testicular exam he has to be behind a wall like this weird glory hole device to reach out and fondle you anonymously. I'm not a big fan of the whole idea that if, if you have any issue with, with someone with being accused or anything about the same sex, that it's an insecurity thing. Nah. But this is insecurity. This is just You're, a testament. You know, there's, you know there's a problem in your physical health in a very vulnerable spot. Oh, yeah. But you still won't go to see an urgent care doctor or a clinic. You have to go to this glorified shower in the middle of, like, a building. And let, literally, it looks... It looks like an alien hand with the blue rubber glove coming out. You're gonna, you would trust yourself to that first. You know what? The, the what I was thinking about when I saw this, this whole setup. I'm just imagining. You, you remember the old Flintstones cartoons? Whenever one of the the their their contraptions in the house that was actually an animal, an animal, yeah, and being like, it's a living. I'm just imagining some poor bastard in this box. Hour after hour, testicles at hand, he's just sitting there like, it's a living. Just. Oh, uh, okay. Uh... Uh, more on that for a second, but first, for everyone to see, scroll down really quick. There's mm. a picture that depicts at a slogan. Could you please read what that picture has with um, oh. the tennis balls? Uh, have those balls checked or check them yourself. You had to get that picture just to get your point across about testicular cancer. Can't even have a serious conversation. Nope. No. No. So that's everything. Oh, they had the little footprints. It's a shower. That's what it is. They just took the, the faucet out and built a hole inside. It's, it's just. Every, who thought of this? Who thought this was smart? It's a, it's a, like a monument to homophobia. It real no, you're right. It totally is. That is beyond insecure, and oddly specific too. Yeah. The only <laughs> way I'll let another man touch my balls is if I never have to look him in the eye and don't know who he is. And also, it says testamatic right out on the side. Testamatic. So people know what's going on inside. Uh, <laughs> Why would you be ashamed of going to a duct? <sighs> what? Jeez, New Zealand. What you do is muster your courage, step up to the booth, pull a curtain around you, and drop your pants. Uh, I'd rather just go to my doctor. What if you have questions after the... Oh, I don't even know what to call it. The test. We'll, we'll be classy. The test. What if you have questions right after? Do you have to like get on your knees and ask questions like you're some uh, weird confessional? Oi! Hello, magic ball fondler. I have questions. Hello? Sir? Sir? <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> and then the cur someone pulls the curtain back. You're on your knees in front of the hole like. <gasps> <gasps> oh, what? Oh, well, oh my gosh. Next okay. one is back to Florida. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. Which 
I, is, this, is this is this number is this arrest number four for this guy? Did he just get something checked that fast and he's back in jail again? No, that would be okay. funny though. That would be funny. wow. Live updates. Ah, uh, Florida woman steals live lobster from Red Lobster. Woman found herself in hot water. Did After you pick she- all these articles based on the bad pun, I, like hate, a new SE- I hate these. Do you have like a new SEO on your system that you can actually search out bad pun terms? Pinellas County deputies say she stole a live lobster from his from its tank while being kicked out of a restaurant. According to the sheriff's report, 42-year-old Kimberly Gable was being loud and causing a scene at the restaurant on November 10th. The manager of the establishment asked her to leave. The report goes on to say Gable got louder and cursed out the manager. She then grabbed a live lobster out of the tank by the front door before exiting. Deputies were called to the scene and found Gable a short distance away where they say she smelled of alcohol. No. Gable says she didn't know what she did with the lobster because she is blacked out drunk. And, quote, she, quote, did not care because she did not do anything wrong. <laughs> the poor <laughs> lobster! Uh, we all know what was going to happen to that lobster, and that lobster still got a bad deal. Yeah, but this is insult to injury for the poor no, fine lobster. It's worse, yeah, for sure. <laughs> also, what, <laughs> what, what was the game plan? I mean... In drunk behavior of rage, <laughs> when you're getting kicked out of a Red Lobster, well, I'm not coming out here without my 5.99 sampler. Dunk. You what? still have to cook the lobster. Yo, man. You have to. You still have to cook it. That's way beyond her line of thinking. Look at that mugshot. She's like, oh, it's a Tuesday. I, 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 I. What's getting to me is we don't know where the lobster went. I hope it went back to the ocean. In the distance between getting out of the sh- of the Red Lobster and being found passed out drunk. The she... lobster's the, okay, the lobster's the smarter one in this store, so it is possible that it clawed away and started going back to the beach. I love that she did not care because she didn't she do didn't anything do wrong. wrong. I, that's, that's, yeah, okay. That... Also, petty theft. Yeah, I mean, can we make this the one happy story? Two things. <laughs> can this be the happy story? Mr. Krabs did get back to the ocean. <laughs> I don't think that's asking too much on this on your show. This could be the one happy ending for Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Two, I know I brought this up to you before, like a long time ago on one of the like when you had me on before. Can you imagine this lady telling her cellmates what she's in for? <laughs> Well, she didn't do anything, so there's nothing to tell. Oh, yeah, that's going to work out well. Because that story's never been told before. I didn't do nothing wrong. Well, what'd they say you did? I don't know, because I didn't do nothing wrong. I woke up here, and this looks like my home enough to me anyway. Ugh. Is that going to be her court, like her court defense, too? I didn't do anything wrong, so I guess case closed. The, she grabs the gavel and just bangs it herself. There's like a, a blend here of just the regular stupidity, plus uh, I want to yeah. speak to your manager. <laughs> Susan, stepmom Susan got really drunk at Red Lobster. Exactly, yeah, because of course she's cursing out the manager. It doesn't yeah, even... That's how it starts, yeah. It doesn't even explain what she was upset about. Nope. She was just cur- cursing up a storm at Red Lobster. <sighs> they were out of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Don't get me wrong, I'd be upset about that too, but not that upset. Oh, I forgot this story. Okay, yeah, we have we have even more Florida. Arrest this... number five for homie? <laughs> Sorry, I still think that's funny. <laughs> oh, this is this is so bad. Everything's been bad so far. What are you talking about? I appreciate Sorry. I appreciate that public libraries serve an important uh, function for people who don't have access to the internet. It yes. allows you to do every like pay bills, apply for jobs. Apply for jobs is a big thing when you don't have internet. Check your email. So the fact that <laughs> libraries offer free internet for people, that's great. But not everybody knows how to appreciate 
the that the benefit there be oh my god oh oh my god Florida's man is caught watching virtual reality porn in the children's section of the library after he fails to plug in his headphones properly. Madison Alderman and Annie had taken her ch the children in her care to the local library in Northeast Orlando uh, for a homework session. Miss Alderman says she heard the sound from the unidentified man's porn film as soon as she walked in with the children. Shocked, she began filming him on her mobile phone. Um, he was sat- I, scroll I scrolled down and saw the pictures of the guy. Yeah, uh, so let's have a look, shall we? There he is. Oh. He is wearing a VR headset and headphones. However, he appears to not have plugged them into the headset properly. And the sound from the porn he is watching is instead on loudspeaker. Uh, the kids were really confused. The older kid asked if it was a video of a girl being killed. <laughs> Onlookers cool. alert the man to what's going on. He realizes everyone has been able to hear the sound from his VR headset. He panics and runs out of the library. The librarian sanitized the entire table and chairs after Good he job. left. Good job, librarian. Well done. Above and beyond. When we walked in and we heard the porn sounds blaring from his phone. Oh, can you imagine the look on that guy's face when he finally lifted up the VR headset and saw everyone staring at him? Well, what did you think? You were slick, motherfucker? Why? Why, why do you need... There's so many questions. Why do you need porn that badly and that close to your eyeballs? In why, public? why do you need it in the children's section? In, in the library, period. Here's, here's just, you know what, not condoning any of this, but if you're going to attempt this harebrained scheme, you do realize Wi-Fi goes outside the library. Also, the bathroom. The, the bathroom! Where there's a stall? Shit, yes! That, that didn't even take us 30 seconds to think of better solutions for this pervert. Then the children's section of the library! He literally picked the worst spot. You can see there's colored chairs. It's, it's, a kid. it's, it's obviously the kids' section. It's not like he didn't know. Here's Clifford. Here's Matilda. Here's a guy jerking off to VR porn. Why? Mom, what curious George book is he reading? <laughs> oh. He's, oh, I'll be slick. No one will see what I'm looking at. I think that might have been his attitude also because this is going to be bad. Think about how much he also does that in other public places. This, There's no way that was like the first time. And there's no way. Great. Now... Uh, now, if I ever see some son of a bitch walking in public with a yeah. VR headphone, that's a that's the first thing I'm thinking is the son of a bitch has got porn. Honest, like if I ever like go back to New York and take the subway again and see a VR guy, like, okay, not on that bench. Nope. Uh uh. Florida. Not even the libraries are free from smut in Florida. Just, it, it, I, what's really it just pisses me off. This guy thought he was slick, man. Yeah. He thought, yeah, I got, I got. The You're definitely right because, again, like I said, you know that's not the first time. Idiots. Also, wouldn't you be able to hear it coming out of your phone and not in another way when it's down here, like coming out of a speaker and projecting everywhere else? I don't. What, know. What's going on? I don't. I thought know. the bath salt thing was done years ago. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I, I rarely would ever say this. Burn the whole library down. Okay. It's it's too late. Oh, my gosh. Cool, I just got the new VR headset, Johnny. Oh. oh. All right, we have one last one. This is from the cocaine is a hell of a drug department. Literally, I don't know how this son of a bitch is alive. He is. It's a miracle. Driver on drugs going 104 before crashing into Arlington Heights Police Station. Arlington Heights driver was under the influence of drugs and driving up to 104 miles per hour, not kilometers, miles per hour. 
That is impressive when speed he if you lost, build up. When he lost control of his car and slammed into the village's new police station. I'll bet they loved that. Oh my god. Uh. 44-year-old man who recently moved to the <laughs> suburbs from Brookhaven, Georgia, to be charged with wet, reckless driving, driving under the influence of drugs, and miscellaneous traffic citations. Oh, really? Just the, the little minor stuff. Authorities say the man lost control of his 2015 Volkswagen GTI about two blocks from the downtown station where the angled Davis Street uh, turns into the east-west Sigwalt Street. The car struck a curb, benches, a fire hydrant, and a mini retaining wall before crashing into the building. Do you think, imagine if all that wasn't there? <clears throat> he would have just kept going. He would have, ugh. The black box recovered from the vehicle, which it's, this kind of surprised surprised me at first, but then I realized, yeah, every new car has got this fucking yeah. computer shit in it. The black box recovered from the vehicle suggests registered a high speed of 104 miles per hour. And that's like if it's a police station, that's not like off the highway. This has to be somewhat residential area, too. Nope. Nope. Uh, in an interview with police at the hospital, the driver said he had taken cocaine and other prescription drugs before the crash. What? Well, I'm out of my multivitamins. Better do something else to start the day. God. None of the driver's injuries to a lung and ribs are expected to be life-threatening. After release from the hospital, he will be brought to the temporary police headquarters for booking on misdemeanor charges. So he wiped out the new police station. They have to yes. take him to the temporary one to After book him the hospital. Yeah. for destroying the other. And that has to be destruction, too. You don't go 104 miles per hour without doing... Ser oh, boy. <sighs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. That is... <laughs> You had a cocaine cocktail, started driving 104 miles per hour, and you did not die. Boy, oh boy, you have a second chance at life, sir. I don't know what you need to do to wake up, but God. you really better get it together. God. It's 167 kilometers an hour for for those of you who are not, who, who use that is, act, yeah, real that measurement. Is, that is crazy. Again, this had to have been like somewhat residential or somewhat of a commercial area. This was not a hot, this couldn't have been a highway. They don't have pictures. They don't have pictures of the car, but apparently they had the firefighters and all this shit cutting him out of it. Cut it out. Yeah, I'll bet. Just he just, and he's not going to die from it. No, that's, he's fine. That's that's insane on its own. That's like the unbreakable stuff with Bruce Willis. I guess. Well, either that or everyone should get a Volkswagen GTI because that's apparently, apparently the safest car on the planet. Fuck yeah. That should be a part of their new slogan. This guy can live in our car, and he's an idiot. That's <sighs> probably not a good thing to encourage, because then people are going to start driving That's them like true. bumper cars. Oh, yeah? I bet I could do something crazier in it. Yeah. I Volks could. Like the demolition Derby. What? Uh, I've, I've never... This is That's the... drunk, or that's high, whatever. That is a big cocktail of... This is how out of step I am with drugs in general. I've never understood. You've got one drug already. You, you, you've you chosen yeah. a drug. At what point do you... You know what? Cocaine, this is okay. I would like to try more drugs now. <laughs> no, you've got one already. And have a little a commitment. You have a hard one in there, too. Just, just a heavy one. It's not like, you know, let me try a little hot sauce on this pizza crust. Let me see how that is. No! Is that the same logic? No, you no. one drug at a time. One, one, one drug at a time. Come on. Got, uh, this cocaine gave me all my energy, but I still have a little bit of a headache. Maybe this Xanax will help with that if I take uh, some of that right now, too. Don't start making your, you're making your entire, a whole bunch of hormones and chemicals in your body yeah. decide to, it's like a bouncy castle in there. <laughs> and then you get behind the wheel and yeah. then you hop in the car. And not let alone you do all those drugs. What are you going to do on all those, on that much junk in your system? How do you then get to your car? Uh, <laughs> Again, no police officers were hurt. No one was, this guy was hurt, but he's going to be fine. I, it's amazing nobody yeah. was hurt. 
She was like I said, if that like if the median wasn't there or those barriers weren't there, think about how much more damage that guy would have done. It's just yeah, I guess yeah. First thing we learned this week, just you know what, one drug at a time. Tone it down a bit. Yeah, you, you, you've Spread got yourself out. Yeah. Look, Spread you've got out. you've got drugs. Savor the shit. Take some me time. They're not going to expire like milk. Right, just, you know, just sort of stretch it out. Take a day, sit at home, order some Uber Eats. <laughs> oh, that poor Uber Eats driver. Oh, man, he's going to have a heck of a day trying to deliver to that guy. One drug at a time. Uh, we, we've learned that uh, if you see someone in public wearing a VR headset, it's porn. Yeah, that's Correct. it's. There, that was the technological advancement that we knew was coming anyway, though, but it's now here in awful places. Unfortunately, we could have seen that coming. Yeah. We, we've we learned that um, apparently it's possible to steal a live lobster and then forget you did it. I feel like I would remember that. Yeah, you know what? That would, that would kind of seem like... I feel like that's an event, you know? I don't remember. I don't remember where I put my keys when I was drunk. Okay, I don't remember stealing that lobster and running five blocks and then passing out in an alley. We've learned that some men would rather have a random hand through a hole in a wall grope <laughs> them than invest any trust in their doctor because no homo. <laughs> how much money do you think went into that too? Too. Think much. about how much cash went into that. Too fucking uh, much. Right. We've learned that if you've just got out of jail for doing a thing, don't do the thing before you've gotten All out right. of the parking lot. Don't do it again. It's a new day. Let's see what I can do. That is some GTA shit. That is it some is, legit. That is literally what you do in GTA. As soon as you get arrested, hey, I got to get a car to get back to the next mission. Here's a car. This... It's, that was the that He's game. So, oh man, that the police officer in that car the second time, he could have roughed that guy up, and nobody would even said a thing about it. And finally, like, yeah. finally, we've learned dart farts. I fart gate. I I don't know what we learned. We didn't learn a damn thing. We just I learned darts is a lot messier of a game than I thought it ever would have been, and that's saying stuff to do because darts is not in a clean environment in the first place. Dart farts. That's it. That's that is not enticing me to go and watch a live dart throwing. Cha In fact, the entire idea of a live dart throwing championship already was kind of off putting because I have two eyes and I'd like to keep them. Yeah. But now we have we're at, we're adding fart fart gate fart fart gate. Johnson has stepped up stepped up to the ring. He's about to do twenty one bounce out and oh boy, that was a ripper, folks. That was a ripper. His opponent has got to be furious. The tail of his dart is completely soiled in the dust. Oh sweet mercy! How is he going to be able to focus on this one now? Oh, he looks like he's retaliated with a wind of his own. The Dutch breeze has now just covered his opponent. It is total brown anarchy here in the. Dark Championship. 30 minutes of that on ESPN 8. The Ocho. Uh, I can see why Tara had a migraine before this show. 